Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another day, another haul video for you. AKA, how do I responsibly spend my money on plastic toys <laughs> and bricks? But either way, this is going to be a kind of a long video. So if you're into that kind of content, well, you're in luck today. So sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea or coffee or whatever. I just don't feel like editing anything, really, and I'm not feeling too good, I'm a little bit sickish. Either way, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this haul. Again, this is gonna be a long one, you've been warned, but let's go ahead and, <laughs> and start. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hop on to, to the open box sets that I already kind of got from the store. And some of the stuff was on sale. Let me go ahead and maybe change the zoom a little bit. Some of the stuff was on sale. So I decided to grab it and uh, at least I heard for this one it will be retired and I kind of just hopped on it. Again, I had a really good price and it has a pretty decent minifig lineup. Don't care about the build itself. I don't think this is too nice or too cool. Just kind of you know, looks like a just brown brick to me. I guess you can just modify it and make it a little cooler. But then I basically picked this up for the figures, especially for this artillery stormtrooper. Got this one before it retires. Now let's move on to the next one. Next one, what we got, we have this Mandalorian Starfighter. This is a pretty cool set. I was thinking to get it, but again, never got a chance. I don't believe I've been into Star Wars. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I was never really big into this, but I started watching on this Disney Plus, all this prequels and sequels, and now Mandalorian. I mean, I'm getting into it. So, thus picking up all the sets. And this one I heard is also retired. So if you haven't got this, maybe it's your last chance. Minifix are really good. Let's go ahead and move on to the, the rest of the Lego haul. Don't worry, I got some Brick Mania and some other stuff coming up. So don't click away. Just take this out. And this one. And I think that's it. So this one is uh, like a VIP. 55 or more, you get the fire pack pretty cool. Again, I think I mentioned my last haul, but I'm definitely collecting those cannons to use this on diorama or like a mock, and especially a civil war uh, diorama that I'm definitely working on as we speak. So this is this is it. Also, this one is kind of hard to come by, but this is finally in stock. It has a bunch of clone troopers, so I thought it was pretty cool, and it was reasonably priced. So I just got one. And I don't know if I should pick up more, but at least I'm pretty happy just having this one right here. All right, next up what we have is the Dark Knight Tumblr. Yeah, so this one finally came in stock again. I saw it in the stock, then I kind of like thinking about should I get it or not at the time. Then it went out of stock, and this one is hard to come by. I don't know. This is kind of popular build. And I do like it. I do like it a lot. So I think this is pretty nice one. If you don't want to get this UCS, the big one, uh, tumbler that LEGO is also made. I'm not into it because I just don't have enough space. So I will opt it out for the small one, but very accurate one. So if you're into this Batman a movie, a trilogy, then, you know, definitely recommend this before. It also retires. I don't know if it retires or not, but at least then, you know, I, I got this right now. So this is so much for the LEGO stuff. Let's go ahead and move on to, I think, more interesting things. But let's go ahead. You be the judge. Now I will free up some space on the table. And what do I have here? So this one is from Brick Warriors. And I was kind of waiting for this for some time because these guys are basically based in the United States. They couldn't ship it to me, but I finally got my ways, got my connections uh, to get this to me. So this is the, so now, yeah. So it gets me in Europe. So yeah, I mean, they bag it in here, and like a little thingy, which is cool. All right, let's go ahead and pop it open. Right, I guess I have to tear this apart somehow. Okay. And let's see what's inside. I mean, I already know what's inside. This, this should be all the, the Confederates, or Confederate parts. So here we go. So we have some Confederates right over here. And let's see what I got for the Confederates from Brick Warriors. Let me go ahead and give it a closer zoom. So what we have here, we have a few torsos. And I can't remember exactly how much were there, but they were in the ballpark, I think of like a $7 or something. And also the printed legs. And I have 
a couple of sabers or swords, whatever you call it. And then I have a couple of cappies also from then. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and yeah, and just some random star stuff I picked up in case I want to build up some of those, like Napoleon era. Got the musket and flintlock pistol. So go ahead and try to build one of those confederate guys and see how he looks like. You guys should buy the whole figure, but then my thing was that I'm not, I was not a huge fan. I have some extra heads right here, so I'm gonna probably use them. Uh, I was not just a big fan. All right, this is the, most of the minifico, but I have some Lego ones as well. I'll just use the general guy. Just this dude right here. So yeah, um, the heads, they have a yellow basically, and I'm, I'm trying to build some flesh, flesh tone stuff, so I, I didn't pick this up. So this is the head. This is what, how it looks like with all the Brick Warrior stuff. So this is the dude. So this is how it look like. But, let me build another one. Let me get the... Um, let me get this guy to say whatever. Okay, had stuff rolling around, so I got this guy. But I also had from my last hole, not last hole, but then previous hole, I also picked up some cappies. So let's see how that looks like. So live built with me right here. So this is from Minific Co. Let me go ahead and grab artillery, the red one. So basically, this is how it would look like with the Minific Co. cappies. But I think I think they're still using the Lego cappy. And this should be some custom printed cappies. So what do you guys think? So the two figures right here for Confederates from the Brick Warriors. I think it looks pretty good. Give this guy a sword. Link lock. Musket. Yeah, looking pretty sharp. I think I'm liking it. So I'm gonna build this up for sure. So I have a bunch of those torsos. I have some actually extra legs that I might need. I don't know how many torsos and legs I got from from Brick Warriors, but then I'm I'm pretty happy. So definitely gonna use some of those cappies uh, from the Minifico, and let's see how that's gonna look like. Actually, I have this. I have some counter counter guys right here. So this is a Brickmania, and can, this is UV printed, and I'm not sure what this is. To me, it looks like a. I mean, to me, it also looks like you UV printed. I got two of those guys. All right, so let's go ahead and move move forward. Move on from here, and actually, you know what? While we are on this civil war topic, by the way, while we're still doing this, while we're doing this civil war life, let's go ahead and hop into something else, which I think is pretty cool. And big thanks and big shout out to Brick of Fit. His channel is Brick of Fit. I'm going to put it right here. So he basically was nice enough. And I sent him a little message and he was super nice enough uh, to reply. First of all, to respond to me and agree to this. Basically, I asked him if he is in the area of Virginia Brickmania store. And uh, I think it's Chantilly. And I think they had a reopening or opening or something like that. And with that opening, they had this general exclusive to the store mini fig pack and this is the civil war generals obviously right here uh and he was nice enough to reply to me and actually pick this up and uh, finally got the package but i want to definitely give him a shout out i think uh josh and dave both of them from the channel and he actually has a store that he prints his own minifigures and i want to give a shout out to uh brick of fig i think put a picture right here too as well but anyways so what we have here we have Two pretty awesome Brickmania minifigures. And I'm gonna get my handy dandy <laughs> uh, device here. So we have a first figure um, of the generals. So we have, uh, I think this is Grant. All right, so let's have a little bit of a closer look at him. I mean, so he has very nicely printed legs and torso. A little bit texture printed and it seems he has a 3d printed cap or hat so 
basically what he looks like. Let me go ahead and try and take his head off. See if there's anything underneath that. It just says BKM. And give it a little closer. Oh, my fat fingers in the way. But yeah, uh, that's that's the head. At least the printing on it. And uh, it's kind of weird now. I'm looking a bit closer. Uh, look. I'm looking at the hat. Right, it's three. It's good, but it has some weird. I'm, I'm guessing maybe from the molding or whatever. It has some weird like little things on top. Um, it's not a problem, but it just it feels kind of weird that they have some extra like things here. I feel like maybe it should have been <laughs> somehow polished a little bit more. But anyways, pretty cool fig. Let me just compare the colors. I'm just out of curiosity. Put this guy here and see how this will look like color wise with the, another Bikmania fig, uh, Union fig. And the color is actually pre on point, matching nicely. Very cool. And let's go ahead and put Lee, General Lee here as well. He has a beard. And I guess both of those guys met at the end of the Civil War. Was it then the capitulation of the Confederacy? I think they got together, they shook hands and that kind of stuff. Let's get a closer look to this dude. Fix his head. All right. Also has, I think it's a little bit of a texture printing. Just a little bit. So I have a side, I have nice little boot prints. Then we have stuff in the back as well. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Go ahead and take his 3D cap off. Same thing, just some some little small stuff on the cappy. Not a big deal. Let's see what kind of face he has. Alright, so he has this kind of face. And this is also it's gonna focus uh, 3d printed beard and really enough nothing on this one nothing on this torso was printed but uh, put that head back really quick yeah that's it this is this is the two generals all right moving on and while well, I guess we on this minifig exclusive stuff. I also happened to pick up well back. I haven't done the unboxing or haven't done the review of this well, like right here, uh, but I've been, ha I had this already for a little bit of time. Uh, also another, well, this one from eBay. So I kind of obviously overpaid, but I, I thought that was really cool. Really kind of want to get my hands on those commanders. So let's go ahead and keep, keep it a closer look. What kind of figures those are. Those out of the clump shell. Look at um, MacArthur. He comes actually with this little pretty cool 3D, 3D printed pipe. It's something he likes to do. Have a little smoke here and there. And with some instrument of surrender. Uh, I'm guessing that has to do maybe with some World War II surrender stuff. I don't know. I, can't, I, ha I haven't looked this up. In much detail on exactly historically they were up to but definitely really cool looking figures and this looks like oh upside down this looks like pacific theater for sure the map of that so we got two of those guys but go ahead and put them on the stand i know you guys you guys liking the stand i'm not sure if i should be using it or not Everyone is doing it, so I'm kind of doing it. But let me know what you guys think. All right, give them a closer look. So nicely, again, printed 3D caps. Not sure about this one. This probably is not 3D printed. I think this is just could be printed. Uh, so that's nice little lo logo of United States Navy. And again, maps. You can check out the torsos. Nicely detailed. 
I like MacArthur the most. I mean, he has his cool glasses and I mean, he just looks shit. I mean, this is cool too, but mm, this guy, see if, <laughs> check those glasses, I mean, this guy's, and this guy is too cool for school, man. That's all I gotta say. BKM, nothing crazy here. Let's take off this guy's hand. BKM, nothing here. No Easter eggs, nothing really crazy. But yeah, this is the fix. I hope you like them. Again, store exclusive. All right, that's uh, that. Yeah, that's quite quite a quite a lot of uh, exclusive stuff happening here on the table at the moment. But let's go ahead and continue with the figures. Again, I told you this is gonna be a long one. Lots of figures to go through. So maybe this one I go a little faster. So basically, another thing happened. Um, uh, there was a contest on Instagram, I think, um, by Brickmania, and there was some randos, randos basically given out for, I think, for this specific one online. I don't know if Brickmania should do another one. You should do more of those contests and giveaways. But anyways, for this one, it was like you have to show all your uh, perfect calibers. Oh, no, uh, for this one, it was 3D printed parts. And I have one, quite a bunch of them, so I took a picture of that. And I was selected, so I'm really happy about that. So those finally lie in my hands, so have a closer look. I'm not gonna use a I'm not gonna use a stand for this one, but I'm gonna go ahead and give a closer look here. Everything that came in. So in this one, that Brickmania sent me again. There was a giveaway that I won. This is for free. Um, there was a perfect caliber, but it's a bit misprinted. So you can see here. A magazine. Here we go. Um, and then we have this Roman Reginier, uh shield but it's not printed at all and this is just a little bit some kind of misprint on the side pretty cool actually if i buy another like roman figure i can use this shield for sure and then this one i'm not sure what this is all about but it looks really awesome really liking this figure and it has a texture print on top of that so that's pretty cool as well and yeah again this is lando's rando so they have all that different kind of crazy colors on here so i guess they just print whatever but just like the texture printing on this i really like in this uh, baklava head i feel like i can be using this for some special forces I, i'm not sure if this is the russian special forces has been coming from but the color of it is pretty cool and also then it comes with a helmet and this looks like a vietnam era helicopter pilot helmet but they also have some kind of markings on this i don't know if i can take this off or not but then i'm, I'm loving the american flag one <laughs> so this is pretty awesome pretty cool uh this uh, minifigure right here and then another one with weird head again, some interesting heads uh, with the red color baklava here. So I don't know if I can use it anywhere, like in in kind of uh, mock building or whatnot. But maybe I can. I don't know. And then this is the I don't know what's it called. It's like some bulldog. Um, I'm not good with this dog breeds and stuff, but I know this is a target dog. So I got a target dog. I'm pretty excited. I love it. The bullseye dog or whatever this is. <laughs> so this is how I know it. At least I know like in the states. That's how people know it. I don't know, but I, 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 I love, I'm loving the dog a lot. So yeah, of course, this is the 3D printed custom part. So I'm really happy to get this for free, you know, basically. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. So I gave you a quick look on that. I'll go ahead and actually continue with the mini. K Town Bricks was selling some stuff, um, some exclusive stuff. I don't think I picked up anything exclusive from them, uh, fig wise, uh, but I did pick up some stuff I really liked. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, with this guy right here. I don't know the names and I don't know what the heck they are. I do have a list here. So So this is Sir John Rob Robert Sart. So I don't know who the heck is this. I have no idea. I just like basically how they look like uh, And I like that it has this custom 3d printed Axe that it has so let's go ahead and pop them open all I know uh, that this guy is most likely I I could be wrong, but I think this is from the Hundred Year War that England was fighting with France. And it can, comes with a shield. Again, it has pretty cool printing with this line. And I'm pretty sure it's a Sir, so it has to be a, a British guy. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy situated really quickly. So K Town is pretty good. They do a really good job with the prints. I don't know if they do like a if they do UV printing or they do 
bad printing. I'm not sure about that, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the figure. And this is what it looks like from the side. This from the back. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Just wanna add it to basically my medieval collection. All right, next one up. And I think this is the Sir Thompson Montagu or whatever. I mean, they should probably put it on the boxes because I have no idea uh, what they are. Again, I, I just looked at my invoice. So this guy also comes with a shield and a sword. You put it up here. I really like the, the design of the prints. The emblem. Keep it with the 360. Again, everything is printed. The lower part, the lower torso, the top, the legs. Let's go ahead and take this off. Oh, look at that, I got some baklava as well here. <laughs> Nicely done, K-Town Bricks. Loving the Knights. And the Knights Tournament. And for that day, they had those like, alchemical creations. So there's something you could have bought. K-Town Bricks, and this would be the equivalent to Brickmania Landos Randos, basically, I think. So just a mishmash of different printed heads and torsos and legs. And basically just kind of have one minifigure here. I think it was like $20, $20 or something. And again, it's just a mix of whatever printing elements that they have. Or it could be misprints. I don't think it's misprints. I think it's just like a different color prints that maybe normally you cannot buy from K-Town Brick. I'm not sure. Again, maybe you know more. Just comment, comment below in the video. Um, but yeah, the color of the head looks really weird. I don't know if K-Town really normally sells this kind of color. But yeah. Also picked up a sword from them. So we're gonna keep it in the baggie. All right, and then last thing I have here on the whole, and it's not a minifigure, so we're done with the minifigures. We're done with all the mini. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at all these minifigures. Dang, that's a, that's a, that's a decent minifigure. All this is all the knights and that kind of stuff. Yeah, all right. So, and the last one here, it's uh, gonna be from Brick Mania. Well, it's actually from Brick Easy Mode. Go ahead and pop it open. Bam! So, yeah, from Brick Easy Mode, got a couple freebies. They always do that. Some brick arms. And right here, what we got is a small, a small haul. Basically, nothing crazy from Brick Mania. Easy Mode had this on sale. And I thought that was kind of interesting kit because first of all, you have a president. I, I think this is kind of retiring by Brickmania, so they're not going to release this anymore. But it has some cool like uh, like weapons and stuff. And I think it's pretty cool that it is a presidential, basically, limousine. I don't think Brickmania will release something similar to this. Again, in my mind, it was I feel like it was kind of cool kit. Something I didn't want to sleep on or pass on. Again, I'm not big on political stuff i think i had a little bit of rant in my last whole video but here you go i have a i have a basically presidential limousine but hey i'm just trying to be you know i mean if i do something with this i'm gonna try to make it funny i'm not gonna be anything like trying to really educate you on some political stuff which i have no interest at all uh, so <laughs> definitely not political but i think this is pretty cool kid nonetheless so i'm pretty pretty happy to get this but yeah overall this is the whole um i'm gonna start working on maybe some of the mocks some of the Civil War stuff because I have a bunch of figures now. You don't have to put those together. But let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I have next, I think, yeah, I'm, I've been on a quite decent streak now. I have um, basically videos coming every week. So next week I'm definitely have another video coming on. I'm actually working on this right now. About another light kit. Uh, I had the brick stuff one. This is going to be a different one with lightsabers. So that's coming up. So stay tuned for that next week. And that's pretty much it. Let's see what happens next. Definitely more Lego content. So I hope you enjoy this. If you did, go ahead, please put a like. That helps. Put a comment below. I like talking to you guys. You see, I always respond. I always say hi to you. Come on, put some put some comments in there. Like hearing from you guys. Let me know what you guys like the most out of this craziness that you see here. Let me know. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.